Bates Webbers are such a simple and elegant solution to a problem that every rider knows pretty well. And that is the lump that normally sits right under your leg from a traditional stirrup leather and buckle. Sometimes I think as riders, we're not that adventurous to try new things when things have been made a certain way over time and they do the job pretty well. But this is one piece of tack where I think it can make a huge difference. If you haven't ridden with a pair of Webbers before, I really urge you to give it a go. It's incredible the difference it can make having no buckle, a single strap of leather under your leg and a strap that's soft and flexible that's able to move with you and let you communicate effectively with your horse with much better contact and is super strong so they're not going to stretch over time and really easy to adjust. I know from working to create and make these saddles how much attention we pay to the transition from your seat down through your leg and onto the horse. This area has a really profound impact on your lower leg contact and stability in riding. So your choice of leather can really make a huge difference. When it comes to finding your correct length, a really good start point is to put the heel of your hand up at the stirrup bar and check that the stirrup extends under your arm. Once you've set your webs up correctly for your length of leg, it's really important to just check that the buckle is doing up below the saddle flap. This area of the saddle flap is a really high wear area where your leg is moving and you don't want to have anything between you and your leg that's going to cause unnecessary or premature wear to your beautiful saddle. Fitting your webbers to your saddle is really easy. Remove the protective sleeve off of the webber so then you're ready to thread the loop of the webber through the eye of your iron. Slide the iron down and secure the fitting into the right hole, twisting to lock it into place. And now you're ready to thread your protective sleeve back over the loop of the Weber and over the top of the buckle. You are now ready to slide the loop of your Weber over your stirrup bar and into position.